Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Issues Unite. I find it very interesting that uh, conservatives consider themselves to be at odds with uh, socialists. Uh, the, the fact is that there is no system, no socioeconomic system, which is more conservative in the actual sense of the word than socialism is. The word conservative has been distorted uh, to implicate the conservation of one culture, one way of life, one viewpoint, one ideology, uh, which is built on the premise of suppressing the rights of others. Um, yet, you know, socialists, when we speak about, you know, preserving the rights, equal rights, equal pay, we're speaking about the conservation, the preservation of all cultures, and including religious rights, as long as these rights don't trample on the rights of others. Capitalism destroys, it does not create. It is human nature to innovate, to build, to always be advancing. That's just human nature. It happens under any socioeconomic system. It always has, it always will, if you completely took money away. I mean, innovation was happening before money was ever created. So uh, that was how society advanced. It's how we got where we are. The economic system has absolutely nothing to do with human innovation. It's always going to happen. We're always trying to improve in some way. So when we talk, when socialists talk of freedom of speech, we're talking about the, the freedom of everyone's speech as long as that speech is not taking away the rights of others, oppressing other cultures, other people, other viewpoints. Capitalism as a system just exploits and destroys. When you, when capitalists come in and strip mine a mountain, uh, you know, they're not creating, they are destroying. You know, that poison the waters. Think about uh, the coal industry, the minerals, the auto industry, etc. Yes, they may create some prosperity in a limited area for a period of time. But think about the fact that there was already a culture there that when, they, when this comes in, it destroys that culture. People may pick up from another area, another state, another country, and, and move to where this is happening. Well, they've given up a large part of their culture, their way of life. And so, and that way of life may not be perpetuated where they move to. So they have actually changed their own culture. Then when the resources are exploited, look at Detroit, look at coal miners, um, you know, the steel industry, when they decide it is no longer profitable, they pick up and they move on. What happens to the culture that has been left behind? It is obliterated. It is destroyed. Then that community is going to dissipate. It is going to collapse and be replaced by what? What has been conserved in a situation like this. When capitalists seize all of the wealth, 
or 80, 90 percent of the wealth that has been created by the labor of the people doing the work. They haven't conserved anything. They have not equitably distributed the profits of that endeavor to perpetuate, build, and conserve a, that culture which they invaded. When capitalism comes in and destroys an environment, a mountain range, um, you know, strips forests bare, uh, you know, uh, fra does fracking that poisons the water supply, uh, has your way of life been preserved, conserved? When uh, small local farmers are forced out of business by competition and bought out by, um, you know, corporate farms and so forth, uh, has your way of life been conserved in, in this case? And my argument is absolutely not. Your way of life has been destroyed by capitalism. Socialists, as a general rule, don't have a problem with religion. It is the way that religion is used as a weapon, a cudgel, a, a, a prison for other cultures, religions, uh, and limiting people's speech and way of rights. When you feel, uh, when you ascribe to a certain ideology uh, that takes away the rights of others, uh, you know, and says that you must behave in this way. You must use this particular speech. Uh, you must present yourself in this way. Uh, is that a right? Uh, is that uh, what? What if you don't agree with it? Socialists are not about limiting the rights of others, uh, including. A, a conservative viewpoint where we're very much in favor of a multitude of voices all joining together and and, and respectfully you know a, all being able to express ourselves as a society that the word socialism comes from social society it's not limiting as long as it is not damaging. Now, I am not going to claim that there are no problems within the socialist left. There definitely are, which I am going to cover in a, in a separate video because there is absolute division, you know, uh, among uh, different uh, cohorts within the socialist movement that really need to be addressed. And that is one of the biggest things that weakens us. But overall, conservatives and socialists have many goals and ideals in common. You know, uh, universal health care, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, uh, you know, higher wages, living wages. These are all common concerns between the far right and the far left. Very much so. The, these labels are used to divide us. And that is very much by intent. And who do you think is driving that division but the people who profit from 
a, a certain ideologies the absolute most. Within socialism, where's the profit? I mean, it, the profit is about distributing the profit equitably, fairly, equally. Whereas within capitalism, uh, the drive is to keep f the flow of wealth going to the top. Then the people at the top who own the media, who own uh, the means of production, these are the people that are driving that division and keeping us throwing labels around instead of looking directly at the issues, the things that we have in common. If we start viewing things in the right way, that we have common concerns, we can band together, we can unite, and we can achieve things which are good for all of us, which conserve all of our ways of life, expand all of our rights, retrieve the rights that have been taken away from us and are continually being taken away from us. If you want to protest a, a, an oil pipeline, you are likely going to be arrested. Is that freedom of speech? Is that if you are afraid that it is going to poison your water supply and your rights are taken away by a militaristic police force, is that a right? Is that conserving anything? If they, if eminent domain is used to take away part of your land, has your way of life been, for corporate interests, has your way of life been conserved, preserved, protected in any way? No. When you are told that you don't have a right to unionize or talk about unionizing, and uniting with your fellow workers for the benefit of the workers. Has your way of life been conserved, preserved, protected? No, absolutely not. We get caught up by intent with these false equivalencies of what freedom means. What, 200 kinds of soda water? is freedom. You know, it's all sugar water. That's all it is. It's all sugar water. <laughs> and that's what you're being fed, is sugar water all the time. You're on a sugar high. And if, some, if you drink Coke and somebody else drinks Pepsi, then they're what, satanic? No. Expanding the rights of others, preserving the rights of others, is conservative. You are conserving different cultures, different ways of life. You are expanding the rights of your fellow human being, and it doesn't take away your rights. It expands your rights. Because if another person's rights are taken away, then your rights are most likely going to be next. We've watched this happen, we, and we're continuing to watch it happen. We're fighting against it. So conservatives and socialists really need to sit down and have you know, genuine talks about issues and stop throwing labels around because we all have many of the same goals. Sure, we can have differences, but as long as we are able to socialize and discuss it respectfully, then our rights have been preserved. They have been conserved. There is nothing more conservative than socialism. And as far as capitalism is concerned, 
Most of the problems that we are facing today as a society are being caused by capitalism. And capitalism cannot solve any problem which exists only because of capitalism. It can't happen. That's like trying to take poison to mitigate poison. Hey, does that work? No. So, we need to talk about these things openly, honestly, respectfully. We need to be fighting for each other's rights together. By fighting for your neighbor's rights, you're fighting for your own rights. Share this video. Talk about these subjects. If you can, can afford it, please donate whatever you can to help expand this channel and my presidential campaign. Many, many thanks to Wendy Chavez for your donation. Again, uh, you are my biggest supporter. I, I appreciate it more than I can tell you. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good day.